Hey everybody, it's Lon Seibin, and I've been getting a lot of email about iPhoto and the WD MyCloud lately, so much that I figured I would do a video to kind of explain how I'm using it, so maybe we can try to help troubleshoot some of the problems that a lot of you are having. And basically what's happening for a lot of folks is that they're copying their iPhoto library over to their WD MyCloud. And by the way, that library lives in your pictures directory off your home directory. Uh, what they're doing is copying, as they should, copying that file over to the MyCloud just by dragging it in the Apple Finder and it moves the library over. Now those can tend to be very large files, especially if you have a lot of photos in there. So it might take a while for that file to get moved over. And after you do that, it should look something like this. And you can see we have two iPhoto libraries in this directory. Now that we're connected to my WD MyCloud right now, and as you can see, both of these are showing up as libraries. However, some of you are seeing something different where that iPhoto library is actually showing up as a folder. So my first piece of advice would be, uh, if you're having problems, see what version of iPhoto that you're on. The current version, which came out like towards the end of 2013, uh, works just fine. It, it just copy, you copy the thing over, uh, you can double click on uh, the, the library file and it will load right up pretty much on anything that you put it on. Uh, and there you go, you can see we have just one photo in our library here, but uh, everything seems to be working. And uh, this again, this file is on our WD MyCloud. Now what I also did in this directory, because you can see I have two libraries, is I also copied over an older library from I think iPhoto 09, so, so a much older version of iPhoto. Now if I disconnect from the MyCloud, and we're going to reconnect now using a different protocol. This is the Windows protocol, uh, otherwise known as Samba or SMB. And we're going to go basically connect to the drive the same way we did before, except using that Windows protocol. And as you can see, we have a folder and not a library. Why is that? Well, apparently what happens is, is that the Mac operating system is looking for certain pointers that it will see when it's connected via an Apple protocol, which would be the default if you found the, the MyCloud on your shared list here. Uh, but sometimes it might just connect over the Windows protocol for whatever reason. Maybe older versions of OS X default to that. I don't know. Whatever it is, the MyCloud supports both AFP, which is the Apple file protocol, and SMB, which is that Samba protocol. And maybe it's just connecting via that way or something weird like that is happening. I don't know. Now, you'll notice, though, um, when we're connected via the Windows protocol, that there's a new extension added to the library here called dot photo library. Now we don't see that when we're connected to uh, the Mac file protocol, but uh, if for some reason you've got this library problem, uh, if you just put a dot photo library at the end of it, uh, it'll give you a warning, you click add, and that should make it visible as an iPhoto library. And I've seen this work now uh, on that old version of iPhoto. I was running on a different computer in the house. So I think just doing that with the older version of iPhoto should solve your problem. If it doesn't, uh, leave a comment below. I'd love to uh, maybe continue troubleshooting this a little bit more. But I do think that if you move again to that new version of iPhoto, all of your problems are going to go away. You're going to have a much easier uh, go of getting this to work over the network. This is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching.